Cool, so this is my Ultra Trail Cape Town 100 race gear. Um, first, I'll start off with a, a t-shirt, like a sense top, just because it's gonna be super hot or generally is very warm on, on race day. Um, and then again, has some lightweight shorts with fairly lightweight brief underneath. Um, and then part of the compulsory gear is to, to have a, a base layer. Um, so again, generally, hopefully we won't need it, but anything can happen on the mountain. So that's gonna be my base layer. Uh, my waterproof jacket, the Bonatti. Um, again, it's really lightweight and functional, and it's very easy to take in and out of my, my pack and to use accordingly. Um, and then a backpack, the Sense Ultra Set. Uh, this is the eight liter to make sure I've got enough room for everything and it's super functional and comfortable if you're running and you don't feel like you've got anything on your on your back and I think it's really crucial with a backpack to have something that's that's really comfortable and and functional and it's really easy to access all the different compartments and then with that um, obviously again it's going to be fairly hot on race day so you must have capacity to carry one and a half liters of, of water um, so I'll be going with the soft floss again really easy to fill up and just to kind of use accordingly and then the shoes I'm going to go with are the the sense ultras for running or when you're running an ultra it's, it's really important to choose the right shoes and for me it's, it's about having a shoe that's super comfortable but also um, gives you enough support and has a good ride throughout the race from from start to finish so these are definitely my, my favorites. And then also, in case anyone's wondering, also a pair of socks. Um, and then some of the other mandatory gear, um, because we start off um, really early in the morning, you need a headlamp. I'm hoping I won't need it in, in the evening, but some of the guys towards the end of the, the race also use a headlamp. Um, also carrying emergency stash of, of nutrition or, or food is, is important. And then a space blanket and a whistle. Um, also a mobile phone with uh, the race organizers, Nick and uh, Stu's number on as well. A beanie or, or a buff is another kind of, or it's part of the mandatory gear, so highly recommended or you'll get a time penalty. And then also um, have an adhesive bandage is also part of the, the gear. And they're not part of the gear, but it's again, it's, it's going to be hot and sunny. So um, a visor or a hat and some eyewear. And that's my gear for the Ultra Trail Cape Town 100. Just something to keep in mind is that the gear I've, I've run through now is, is my ideal race gear. I think it's important to tailor your gear according to your race expectations and how long you're going to be out there. So if you're going to be um, wanting to be out there for 16 hours, then you might need a bigger pack uh, that's able to, to carry more food, more water and, and more kind of warm gear, um, etc. Even shoes, um, some people like much more minimalist shoes, other people like sh shoes with more support. So I think it's really important beforehand to, to figure out what works for you and, and to yeah, choose that to, to give yourself the best experience on the day.